All right, we're back again. Sorry about that. I must have hit a button or something in the excitement of the moment. Hey, it's all right. Uh, this is Clark Sullivan, your oh, live streamer. Got lots of support out here for medical cannabis, but we're in the lower eight. And this is San Francisco, so, you know, we enjoy an extreme uh, majority when it comes to marijuana. This is the capital of the cannabis world, right? Nowhere else. Right, Amsterdam, you know, LA actually had more dispensaries, but they're going to have to shut all those dispensaries down, it looks like, because the city council uh, voted 14-0 uh, unanimously to shut down all dispensaries in Los Angeles. So, that was definitely not good news last week, and uh, I was like, I, I didn't believe it when I first heard it, I thought it was a rumor, but no, it's true, it's true. crowd keeps going here. This is a good thing. Here's Courtney Occupy. All right, she does a stream up. How you doing? She's got a good stream up there. You can follow her on Ustream.tv. Uh, Courtney Occupy. Just uh, put her in the search engine. You'll, she'll come right up. Hey, there's Tony Bowles, one of the organizers of the march. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Good to see you. Not too bad. Yeah, live streaming. Live streaming. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching us. We're here for this occasion. And it's a sad one, losing vapor room and hope that in any dispensary is a sad day, definitely. definitely. Patients need safe access. Melinda Haig needs to stop her attacks. <laughs> Good crowd. Good crowd. Well, you know enough is enough, you know. And personally, you know, I think that there ought to be more action down at the federal building because if they want to shout out dispensaries, well, then we should shut down their federal building so they can't do business. And uh, you heard it here first. So well, it's, it's hard to get the people right. mobilized. For well, I don't know. We shut down a federal building one day back in 2001. Yeah, that was wow. the same day I shut down the DEA computers. It was a coordinated... Day, yeah, it was a coordinated action, right? Oh, and I, activated that level of activity. Yeah, well, I had a bunch of people doing a denial of service attacks, right, which is totally illegal now. I get arrested for doing something like that. But... Uh, Anyway, we managed to shut down their shit, and uh, they knew who I am. So if you're out there, DEA watching, go fuck yourself. And Melinda Haig, if you're watching this stream, go fuck yourself, all right? You're wasting our fucking time. You're closing community resources. You're taking away our tax base. And who's, who's going to be around to pay your fucking salary, right? Start going after the real criminals, not the medical marijuana people. Right. Why don't you go after your buddies that are out there putting guns on the streets of Oakland, right? Yeah, well, so, so you know, that's what you should be doing. Not going around after medical marijuana dispensaries. So, anyway, I watched your stream the other day of, of what was going down. And, uh, and uh, I could have told you not to go down there. I wish you had a car, right? We had a car. Yeah, I mean, you're, like, driving it around kind of, right? Because, uh... Well, that place really, well, it really sucks. <laughs> but anyway, that was a great stream. I know you were scared shitless, but it was really, really a great stream. Thanks for your courage. And all that. Ella, uh, Bella had one up yet. She just got up. Yeah, about the police. And yeah, she was there. Yeah, yeah. I just saw hers on YouTube. Yeah, mine's right. on YouTube. Right, that was some scary shit, you know. Well, the police, you know, they're yeah. well, you know, very brazen with their guns. Yeah, well, you know, it's like when I see the cops that I know, right, in San Francisco that I hate, I don't hesitate to go after them, right? But there, they don't have their guns drawn, and they're not so easily let them, you know what I'm saying? You know, they usually run away from me when I go after them. <laughs> So. How you doing, Kathy? Hey, Kathy, got a few words to say for the live stream. This is Kathy uh, Smith from HopeNet, or the dispensary recently got closed. So, um, how are you feeling about, about everything right now? Uh, I'm really sad, dejected, bummed out, frustrated. Um, Seems like we made such huge steps, and then the rug was just pulled out from under us, you know. And we've lost eight dispensaries, and yeah, I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, she's a, she's the director of HopeNet, kind of ran it for many years. Big supporter of activists, right? And 
had you been open, you would probably be supporting this march anyway. So. Yes, you're right. You're right. I'd be supporting it anyway. So we're glad to have you here. And you're we're welcome. here, and we're here in supporting you. Thank you very so. much. Thanks. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I gotta kind of watch it here, folks. I'm out in the street, so I'm out here getting you pictures. Right? You can, and I should set up a donation box, but that's all good. Oh. All right, we got a little jazz going here in the lower hoop. Welcome, welcome. You're watching uh, Occupy San Francisco. Glad everybody's here. If you want to uh, chat with me, log into the social stream, and uh, I'll be able to get your chats, your tweets. <coughs> Sorry. Glad you're watching. And if you're in the city, San Francisco, you can. Uh, this is a Hayden Steiner. And if you want to meet up with the march at some point, we'll be down at the Federal Building around five o'clock. That's at 450 Golden Gate Avenue. Glad to see you down there and support our medical counties. Right? We need our medicine, right? The only proven other thing that's really been found to be effective against cancer. Yes, tell the man, tell the man. So, for all you people that suffer from cancer, uh, it really helps with chemotherapy. But they just came out with a drug study yesterday. It seems like they're always coming out with drug studies that find that marijuana is actually beneficial to your health and that keeps you from getting sick. It causes cancers, cancer cells to re reverse their growth and all those good things. Makes you feel better when you wake up in the morning. Makes you eat better, makes you sleep better, and makes you poop better even. And we need our cannabis. The most nutritious thing on the face of the earth that a human being can put into his body or an animal is the oil from the hemp seed, which is cannabis. So remember that. And when you go into, you're looking, uh, like if you, for instance, if you find vegetarian and you want to get off the meat, right, well you can use hemp seed and that would be a more than a good replacement for meat. And also it provides your omega-9 that you get in fish, that you need, fish oil. So I recommend that you try it. You can actually get it in butter. And there is hemp seed butter, but generally you can only get it at your either health food store or natural food store. And it costs a fortune at Whole Foods, so I wouldn't recommend that. Besides so nobody shops at Whole Foods anymore. Well, we've got a great crowd of actors. Taking it all down for posterity. Oh, huh? yeah, yeah, sure. My name's Clark. I'm Frank. What's your name? Clark. Clark, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I, do, um, I do live streams with political events. Okay, cool. Uh, I've been a long-time activist in the cannabis movement since the 84, I guess, when I got here in San Francisco. So, I was a... Yeah, I was a protege of Dennis Rhodes for a while, for many years. So, this is there when Prop 215 was passed. You know, it's a, at the club they used to have down on Market Street, which, in my opinion, there'll never be a better dispensary than the old Market Street Club. Oh, I didn't know that. that was. Was. When was that? Right, that was in uh, 1996. Nice. And that was at. Uh, it's what a, what's, what's a law offices now right there at Market in Van Ness. Like right next door to the drugstore, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a great place. I worked at Front Market for a long time, so I have cleared that area. Thank God I'm out of that. It's good. Huh. <laughs> what, work or out of that area? Out of that area. Oh. That was a nice hey, not too much. Kind of hanging here. Getting deafened yeah. by all the cars. Good talking to you. There's a lot of people here. Right up. It's going to be huge. We've got about 100 people here now. And the crowd is still steadily growing. 
and watch for our supporters. Welcome you on the It's all good. That's a big one. Anyway, the reason why we're here is we're here to protest Melinda Haig. She's a U.S. attorney, and she's based in Oakland. But we're going to a federal building in San Francisco, and uh, they're going to be here delivering a letter to her to let her know how angry we are with her persecution of medical marijuana and the shutting down of all the dispensaries in San Francisco. Lots of people here today, folks. So stick around for the excitement. Right, you can follow me on Twitter at Freeman Sullivan. Right, my UStream channel is ustream.tv slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. Yeah, I'm in a direct subway right now, but Oh, we're on the Global Live. We're actually at Global Rev right now. On the, We're actually international with the live stream now. So that should get a lot more viewers. We're at globalrevolution.tv. Uh, you can log into that or you can log into occupytogether.org. But you won't be able to participate in the chat. And to participate in the chat, you have to go to ustream.tv slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. I was a little lazy today. I didn't want to set up the chat room on another website. I should have done that, but anyway, my laziness always seems to get me into trouble. Yes, yeah, so we're here protesting Melinda Haig and her unnecessary, unnecess totally unnecessary persecution of medical marijuana here in the Bay Area. Right, so we're here to let her know that we're very unhappy with her policies and basically she should get the hell out which is what I would say and Obama if you're listening uh, we'd like to let you know that we would like to see Melinda Haig resign or be forced out of her office or maybe you should just fire her because she's going after legitimate business enterprises and people that are following the law except that you seem to be against it too or, you know you gotta let Obama know he's not gonna be going to getting any of these people's vote here. I'm pretty sure of that. You know. So, well, if you hear that, Obama, right, quit sending me emails. Those, I'm getting spammed by Obama for money, right? And there's no way in hell I'm ever going to give that guy any more money or time ever again. Because he's just a bigger puppet than everybody. Everybody's moving out of the street. I will imagine that, uh, that this march is going to take over the street once we get started. Yeah, tomorrow I'm, I got to go tonight and order a grip for this camera so I can give you a better picture. It's kind of hard for me to hold it still sometimes. But we have all kinds of news media down here. Uh, we have at least two channels that I can tell. There's Courtney. That's Courtney Occupy. Follow her on Twitter. She's also another live streamer that's out every day. We're actually, I think we're providing a great public service. Because we're not only trying to bring you what's a... Uh, you know, a video and stream of what's going on live. But we're also out here to help protect the demons, people that are protesting. And because we provide a record of what's going on in case the police want to try and start something, although we don't expect them today, it has been the case in other Occupy protests where the police were actually very brutal and went after a lot of people to try to hurt them. And that's why one of the reasons why we're here. So that way you can see, not only you can see it, but it can also be entered in as evidence in a court of law, and I'll be glad to testify because I was the one taking the pictures. So, that's a lot. See if we got anybody else tweeted. It's hard for me to see.
Hopefully my picture's looking good to you all. It's really, really sunny outside. Uh, viewers, just give me a second. I'm going to have to go down for just a second here because I'm having a problem with my camera. So just a second. Look like Clarence is freezing up on me. I'll be right back.